Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right, everybody. Gamer CJ here. Um, back with some more HB Mame. And I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And I'm going to play some with Crazy Auto. I know Crazy you guys know anything crazy auto is actually the uh, original version of this pac-man so i'm going to play this one called auto projects but i'm going to play the p2 version Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mom. I'm here. I'm doing a little recording. Can you please... Obviously, this is a game I recorded recently. The only problem, so what they did for this game, and there was no like prototype or anything. Okay. The thing I've noticed about this, especially, is that this is what Miss Pacman originally was going to be. Crazy Auto, but they just started to say, okay, well. Like, apparently, they were, Midway was, like, pa like, I don't know what Namco was doing, like, in 82, like, 80, 81 or 82, it's like, like, I don't understand, we're, we're back in release in 1980, right? Everybody knows it was a big success. And, basically... This is a really good, really good copy. Oh, no, 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 no. And this copy of, like, this is GCC. Um, you developed this. That's why I think we haven't seen any mishpackments. Uh, games. I always love the sprites for Crazy Auto. The, the problem is, like, they never, I think, made, like, a physical machine. That's why it's, like, a homebrew sprite. Um. They, you know what's funny? This was never supposed to be a, um, like, never supposed to really be, like, released, I guess. Because, like, if you know anything about, like, G GCC, they made some, uh, like, hacks of, like, pre-existing arcade games. So when they did, like, well, when they did, like, um, super... I don't know what it was, but like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> See, now I'm starting to get my butt kicked. Um, basically... What, I was, what I've was, been researching is that... Apparently Midway was getting impatient. Like, this... Like, I don't understand, like... Pac-Man released 1980, like, released in the USA arcades, like, 1980, okay, like, Midway was impatient to make a sequel, I don't understand, like, 
why they decided, hey, listen, we gotta, uh, they better make a sequel quickly. I'm like, why? I don't know if you guys know, uh, Galaxian, or Galago is the sequel to Galaxian, right? I'm guessing GC, I'm guessing Midway was impatient. Because they were like, well, it's, gonna, it's gonna come out fast! And there's actually a, a game that I researched. There's an unreleased Pac-Man game. It's called Pac-Man 2. I wonder how that game would have been like if Namco decided to release it. But, like, you, you can't blame them for being, I don't know, submissive. But this is what it was supposed to be, Crazy Auto. They just changed it to Ms. Pac-Man. Like, it would be funny if this game just, like, really never saw the light of day. But this is also a mod, too. So it's not, like, supposed to be really released. Obviously, these HB memes aren't really supposed to be released. Obviously, it has everything together in the game. I wonder... Okay, yeah, then no, no, the speed up works. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. Oh, no, wait. One more thing. One more thing. Alright, so let, let me just go back to the main menu. So, obviously, with HB MAME, and I know people have been asking me, Oh, why don't you play this? Why don't you play that? It's like, okay, I would. Oh, yeah, this Man Pack game I played before is very good. Scott Lawrence, I think, did. No, okay, he didn't do all, he didn't do all these, but I think he's the one that kind of created the, like, pack for this. Like, some of these I'm not going to play. Wait, let me see how much I let, let me see how long I played. Oh, okay, that's six minutes plus this. I right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. I'll talk to you guys soon for some Modern Warfare 2.